well, full uh, rich end, Mark. Uh, the UFC is becoming more mainstream, and there's more revenue coming. Don't you think it's time that the fighters band together and form a union? I mean, Dana is raking it in right now. Just to tell you which guy knows. <laughs> Does anybody want to answer that? <laughs> I, I'm sorry if I yeah, put you on no, spot. You, yeah, you put us on spot. Uh, th this would be a great YouTube video. Um, now, it's, uh, it, you know, here, here's my honest opinion about things with, with the pay and all that kind of stuff. I, most of you guys know that I taught high school before I fought for a living. And uh, when you come from a, a $30,000 a year job to something like this, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm truly blessed at what I do, and, and uh, you know, the UFC, they, they pay you what's on your contract, and then you get, you get bonuses and incentives on, on the side that the, the fans, they don't, they don't know about these bonuses, they don't know what the amounts are and all that kind of stuff, so um, I've never been one to ever publicly complain about the amount of money that I'm making, but uh, it, it will be interesting to see if the UFC at some point in time, uh, much like the NFL and every other major sport, will end up uh, forming some sort of players union. I, I just in comparison, if you look at any other combat sport, there's not a union. If you look at boxing, there's no union. So I, I, I don't know if it does fit uh, for combat sports, mixed martial arts, and UFC, uh, the company it, itself. Um, but like Rich was saying, there's so many opportunities. Uh, but giving, given the opportunity to fight for the UFC, like when it comes from um, the exposure you get uh, with sponsorships, and there's a lot more opportunity just being under the banner of the UFC. So I think uh, being under that banner is a huge um, chance for yourself.